We have a lesson that we might give a lot of thought to these days. And that is that man is no longer simply a biped without feathers, as Diogenes likened him. Man is a thinking creature. He should not be brought up by a, a trainer like a dog. He should not be taught only to obey. How old are you? I am 17. I am 18 years old. 17. 17. I'm 17. I'm 17. When I was younger, I wanted to be an architect. I wanted to be like a, uh, like a rock band person. And a orchestra. A singer. I wanted to be a spy. I wanted to be somewhere along the line of rich. Who or what influenced you to make a change? Um, my parents are always like, that's unrealistic, kind of thing. Probably my dad, um, as what I'm doing is what he did. I just didn't know what I wanted to do. Why is that? I want options. So I was told it's unrealistic. Highly unrealistic. A bit different to what I want to be today. Maybe a bit more realistic. Things that are most unrealistic are the things that will actually carry you to the best life you could possibly have. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Um, I don't know actually. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do next year. So I'm sort of living every day as it is. I don't know. I have no idea really. The actual problem is that the human being has a mind that was given to him to think with. generation of compulsion, chaos, overly indulged with consumption, anything to do with commodity. With a vision when everyone else is blindfolded. Even Obama himself said at the end of the day we can have the most dedicated teachers, the most supportive parents and the best schools in the world and none of it will matter unless you fulfill your responsibilities. There's a certain ideal when it comes to pressuring us to conform to the man. It's something we all unconsciously feel we must do to achieve the status of what we perceive as success. Go to school, get a job, go to work, pay your taxes, pay your bills, get married, have a family and obey the law. Now repeat after me, I am free. Stand in front of a reflected surface and look directly into yourself and ask, where will I be in 10 years? Successful, powerful, rich, wealthy. Answers we expect from a generation such as our own. No more dreaming of princesses or transformers, fairies or superheroes. No, we were never quite born into reality. We were thrown into the deep end before we were taught how to swim. Shackled by boundaries but expected to make decisions that impacts the rest of our lives. Who we want to be, who we were supposed to be and what it is exactly we're meant to be. So again, ask yourself, where will I be in 10 years? Was this who you wanted to become? No? Then tell me, who do you want to become?